Hi guys, I'm Jenny and welcome to our product introduction series. Today, I would like to show you our series of smart sensors for smart home. The first sensor I want to show you is the air quality monitor PM2.5. This is our air quality monitor PM2.5. It can measure the fire dust content in our ambience with diameter 2.5 micrometer or less than. Then sending the signal to the microprocessor and then showing the value of the fire dust content in the display like this and also showing this value in the smartphone app. Now, the PM2.5 FIDAS content of our surrounding is 55. This is the safe value. If the FIDAS content is from 0 to uh, 75, the LED light will turn green. And if this value from the uh, 76 to 115, the LED light will turn orange. And if the FIDAS concentration is more than 115, the uh, LED light will turn red. The safe value for FIDAS concentration is less than 75, corresponding the LED light turn green. The second sensor. On my hand is the smoke sensor. This sensor can detect the smoke in our room, our surrounding, and it should be mounted on the ceiling. The second sensor I want to show you is the smoke sensor. It can detect the smoke appear in our surrounding and is all the way should be uh, mounted on the ceiling. In case there is the smoke inside the room, exists the safety threshold, the alarm bell will ring like this. And uh, it shall be connected with the firefighting pump and with the other electronic devices in our room. In case there is a reach of fire, this alarm bell will ring and it will turn off automatically the other electronic devices. Next is the thermal and hydro sensor. The third sensor is thermal and hydro sensor. And similarly with the uh, previous sensor, this sensor works with uh, the batteries AAA. It can measure the uh, temperature of the ambience and relative humidity of the ambience and then sending the signal to the microprocessor. And after that, the value of the temperature and relative humidity of our ambience will be shown on the display and showing on the smartphone app. This smart sensor can be connected and can be co combined with the other uh, electronic devices like air conditioner or air purifier or uh, heater. In case uh, if the temperature is very low, Maybe we can set up a scenario with the air conditioner or heater to raise the temperature of our room. The fourth is the door sensor. The door sensor includes two parts. One is sensor and the other is a magnet. 
It works at magnetic sensing. One sensor will be attached to a door, and the other will be attached to the other door if we use the double door. In case of single door, the sensor will be attached on the door, and the magnet will be attached to the jam. In case opening the door, these parts will be separated, and then. The sensor will recognize this condition, sending the signal to the microprocessor. The microprocessors will process the signal and show in the opening status in our smartphone app. Similarly, in case of closing the door, these two parts will be closed together, and then the status of Closing the door will be shown on the smartphone app, and all of the signal will be updated immediately on the smartphone app as a real time. Last one is the light and motion sensor. This is the light and motion sensor. It works as the passive infrared sensing and radiation sensing. We provide three caps for the light and motion sensor to uh, change motion detected angle. This light motion sensor can measure the illumination of our ambience. If the illumination uh, is less than 25 lux, it will turn on the lamps automatically. The illumination range of this light motion. And sensor is from zero to one thousand lux. It also can detect the motion around our is uh, active detected range from uh, less than uh, seven meters. And there are three modes for motion distance. One is uh, three meters. Second is five meters, and the third mode is seven meters. We can change the motion detected angle by changing the cap like this. And uh, similarly with the previous sensor, this light and motion sensor can be combined with another uh, Bluetooth Med devices. And we can set up scenario with this sensor and uh, the other devices to set up to make a scenario as desired. This random circuit simulating a simple smart home with a home center the Bluetooth mesh electronic devices, the smart sensor and smart switches. And we use the Randy Smart app to control all of this smart home. Now I will show you the operation of the smart home with Randy Smart app. Never. To operate the smart home, we have to use the Rally Smart, connected it with the home center. This is the work performance of this Rally Smart app. And if you want to uh, turn on the light of the living room, please on this button. If you want to turn off, Okay, touching the button again. And then we will see random provide 12 default scenes for this Rally Smart. In case we want to add more scene, up to we can add up to 200 scenarios 
by combining electric devices. So we just discover random smart sensor for smart homes. The application of smart sensor is very wide and we can connect with other Bluetooth mesh electronic devices in uh, our room, office and buildings. Thank you for your watching and see you in our next video. Goodbye.